is his mates going, where have you been? Oh, she's, are you sucking my top? She's sucking my top. Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to be filming a video on hyena and their sense of touch. Um, this is part of a series I've been doing called Sense and Sensibilities. Previously, I have done um, the sense of smell in all three species. It's lion, hyena and uh, leopard. And I've also done one previous uh, video on the lion sense of touch. So today is hyena sense of touch. I think it's going to be a good one. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. So be sure to stick around. You're not going to want to miss this one. Kulana. Hello, Kuna. Kulana. There we go. Freedom. Yeah. Let's go. Sniff, sniff, sniff. All right guys, so I'm out and about with Tika and uh, we're going on a walk. <laughs> this is meant to be an episode on uh, the sense of touch. As I explained in the Lion series, um, the sense of touch is so interconnected with the sense of uh, sight and the sense of smell. So it's very hard to just isolate the one and say that one is, you know, um, totally independent. Um, it isn't. We've developed these five senses to work in, in collaboration with one another. Jeez, today. If you thought this was easy work making these films, think again. Hello, booty booty. And he loves, 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 loves a neck rub. So when you talk about, um, you know, the social bonding, touch is so important with these guys, with bonding. Um, they could not possibly bond. Uh, without the touch so they do it to each other you know there's always this um, face bashing and this nuzzling um, they, they also um, groom each other like I'm doing now so they do lick each other to help keep each other's fur in tip-top condition it also obviously stimulates certain glands to secrete and to just make them their, you know release the oils that make their fur uh, nice and waterproof and make them look really really good so the other th the thing I want to show you guys and I hope you'll do it is it's part of the the touches if I touch him here you'll see he's already starting to ah, come back here <laughs> and like that he's gone I'm just going to get Tika, I'm going to stick him away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Here, buddy. Yeah, let's go. Come, yeah. I think Tika... I think Tika has been a, an amazing star to demonstrate a few things about hyenas and touch abilities. Um, I'm going to go and put Tika back. And then I'm going to go in with uh, Gina's clan and I'm going to talk a little bit about role playing and that kind of touch sensation that these uh, guys, maybe I can even get the leg lifting, which I didn't get out of you, you naughty thing. Come say goodbye to all your fans. There's his mates going, where have you been? Look at them all. Why have you been out having fun and we haven't? <laughs> right guys, so that noise that the others are making, they're all excited 
because they want to know um, why Tick has been away, where's he been? Um, so it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like the dog barking at somebody on the, or the, the, do the dogs barking at each other on the other side of the, the gate. And as soon as you open the gate, they're all like, eh, nothing to see here. This is all cool. So yeah, hyenas are a little bit like that too. Okay, you guys good? Good? Yeah. Good boy. What a good boy. Ah. <laughs> it's been such a good boy. All right, guys, so here at Gina's clan, Picking it up where we left off. I'll show you a few cool things about these guys and their touch abilities. Hello, Woody. Woody, Woody. You know, you're not. You're not going to do it for me. Are you going to do it for me? Lift. Lift your leg. She thinks she's more dominant than me. That's because she is. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> Not only a sniff, but it's always a sniff and a touch. You feel nice. Hmm? You feel nice. It's the first time that Nancy's been allowing me to touch her head. So this is actually, guys, a huge breakthrough for me. Um, funny enough, on the series of touch and sense and sensibilities, this is the first time I've actually been able to touch Nancy's head and give her a proper scratch like that that is something <laughs> which she just not she has not been trusting of and it seems to be my shoe allows me to bring her in <laughs> she's just looking to give a nice chomp on my shoe which I don't want because then I'll def eat that uh. so look here guys so definitely sniff 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 but there's licking there's mutual grooming touch affection bonding Trying to bite my camera now. It is an episode about touch and uh, Woody's definitely touching a lot <laughs> together with a sense of taste <laughs> and a sense of smell <laughs> but there's definitely touch and grooming going on mutual grooming but one thing I did want to get to is the paws of a hyena because they are actually a very very interesting 
setup. So we just let old Nancy Pansy go. Let's put this one on her back and I can have a good look at her paws. <laughs> and if you look at each toe pad, sorry Ma, can I just check out your paws there please? I'll check out her paws while Nancy licks my underarms and Gina says you are not showing the audience my paws I haven't done my nails <laughs> oh my gosh I can't get this video done I'm getting my back nibbled by a hyena can I show the, your, your paws oh no here, here comes trouble maybe I'm gonna have to pick this one up I've got trouble in the front, trouble at the back. <laughs> it's really interesting that Nancy's doing this behavior, guys, because I think it's worth pointing out that a hyena will use its jaws to test things. So definitely its sense of touch is through its jaws. So it's got very, funny enough, sensitive teeth. They can apply just the right amount of pressure. They have such super control over the jaws and the amount of pressure that they um, apply. She can, as Woody has now made my back completely wet. She's gnawing my top. She's, are you sucking my top? She's sucking my top. Like a, like, a, like a dummy, <laughs> you crazy animal. Oh gosh, these hyenas are never a dull moment. So really what we're talking about is them using their jaws to touch and feel. And so mouthing is a, a very important part of what they do, um, you know, to each other. So if I tickle Gina there on her mouth, she sometimes will just grab my hand gently in her jaws with such a an amazingly delicate sense of touch um, i find that amazing because as you know hyenas have extremely powerful jaws um, so some would say up to 750 or 800 <laughs> pounds per square inch there's opportunism trying to bite my gopro camera um, 800 pounds per square inch that's <laughs> that's quite a good demonstration she's going right over the camera and then letting go nancy you are a very naughty girl certainly got a lot out of the hyenas this group is giving us a lot of entertainment <laughs> especially old nancy <clears throat> so i've just um, separated her away so i can just explain without interruption what I was trying to explain earlier. I'm going to come sit under this lovely tree. Hopefully Gina will come join me um, and I can talk about um, the feet. Hello, my sweetie. Yes, those things there. Yes, I want to talk about those. So, Hyenas have very interesting feet. You can see there's a lot of hair, um, very different nails to that of a lion or claws. The claws are non-retractable and very robust, very, very adapted or very well adapted to uh, digging. So they can scratch and dig um, quite well. So we're talking about the head rubbing. It's very, very important in social animals, this grooming, <coughs> social grooming, licking. I don't have uh, a tongue with papilla on it, so I can just use my fingernails um, to have the same effect. Sorry guys, you're gonna get a clean lens now. No man, honestly. So what, what, uh, besides, look at this. From when I came in here to now, it's just incredible how how these animals are. 
you know, when I started, <laughs> she absolutely knows that that's my face. Uh, what I love about Gina, she's the, the chief in charge, but she has a wicked, wicked, wicked sense of humor. <laughs> and when she was younger, <laughs> we used to chase each other around the enclosure and really have just so much fun. I would, I would tickle her and I still, I still tickle you. I tickle you pink, yes. I tickle you, I tickle you pink. <laughs> she just loves it. Like a big shuggy, shuggy, shuggy. Look, okay, there we go. Look at the, come here, come here, come here. Look at the toe pads and look how they overlap. That is really interesting. So they're very thick. If you look at each toe pad, they almost look like a little elephant foot. Um, it, that is the hind f uh, foot that we're looking at. And she obviously walks on her toes like the lions. But uh, you can see the, the paw pads quite clearly and they're very, very thick. So like almost like the sole of a running shoe, um, but very sensitive too. So if I tickle her, if I tickle her, <laughs> you can see when I tickle her, <laughs> she says, no, don't do that, it's ticklish. So even though, even though they are so um, thick and tough, and she can probably run through most kinds of terrain, if I do that, you can see she's ticklish. She's very sensitive. <laughs> Touch. <laughs> Look at this. Watch how she comes. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, Gina. <laughs> ah! And then she pinches you. Ay, 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 Right guys, what a wonderful animal. It's been so great um, doing this episode on hyena touch. Um, as I think you can see, I can talk about hyenas forever. They are so interesting. I never get bored. After all the years of working with them, I just um, have this renewed fascination every time I interact with them. Um, it's they are so clever there's so much going on in that head and i'm just so happy that the world is starting to get that and starting to understand that these animals are just so important in the environment and in the ecosystem and that they serve such an important function in in showing the health of habitats well i hope you enjoyed that episode of uh, sense and sensibilities sense of touch in hyenas i sure enjoyed making it um, if you did enjoy it please do share it with uh, your friends family and whomever you please if you are subscribed to the channel uh, wonderful if not please do subscribe that's how you'll always stay up to date um, with the videos that we make and the content we create um, if you i must just take this opportunity guys to thank you if you have become a member of the channel um, because the members really do allow us to um, make these more in-depth videos like this one. Um, so the last thing I think it's left to say is bye. <laughs>